Hey guys, welcome to WordPress Tips and Tricks. In this video, we are going to show you how to create a very simple yet totally responsive WordPress header using Elementor and its advanced features. For the sake of this video, we kept the design simple and professional for bloggers and regular e-commerce web owners. In this tutorial, we have used a 3RD Party add-on alongside Elementor, which you do not need if you simply stick to Elementor's widgets. So let's start. First of all, let's go inside the Theme Builder menu under Templates. Here, hover over the Header option and click on the tiny pink-colored button to add a new header template. Ready templates will pop up as we go inside the editor page. Just close the window as we will completely build our menu from scratch and make it into responsive later. Now, let's add a Flexbox container to the page and set the content width to full width. Then add two more containers inside it, both having full width selected for content. Then open the navigator, select the parent container and change the direction to row. Ops, need another container there in the middle. Also make it full width. This is our skeleton model for the header. Again, select the parent container and then from style, set its color to something deep close to dark. Now, we will put an image widget in the left container. This will serve as our logo. It looks too big, so select the container and drag down the width to 30% there. For the image, go inside its advanced tab and set width to inline auto. Doing this will auto adjust the content width along with the container width. Also, set align self to center. Then select the container and set Align Self to Center from Advanced. Next, we are going for a nav bar to place it in the middle container. For this one, you can use Elementor's WordPress menu widget or something similar. We are using Element Pack's nav bar here and selecting our main menu for this. As the menu looks faded, let's change the color a bit and then increase the letter size from typography. Also, set Align Self to Center for the nav bar and the container it holds. Don't forget to change the width to Inline Auto. Now for the third container, we want a search bar and a mini cart there. So let's put a search widget inside it. We are just customizing the search bar to minimize it and only showing the icon. Same center align self and width in line auto. Now placing a WooCommerce mini cart widget below the search bar. With little tweaks, we changed it to match the search icon. Now select the container and change the direction to row. Both widgets are sticking close to each other, but we want them at the right corner of the header. So select and justify content from the container and it's done. Not to forget the center align self settings. Now we can also select the parent container and set align self to center. This will ensure all content stays in the middle, even if we miss any. All right. Now, as you can see, the search bar container is consuming too much space and pushing the nav bar. So let's select the container and from the layout, let's set 30% content width. This will automatically shrink the container and let the rest two containers grow a bit. For the middle container, let's leave it at 100% width, but we can customize the nav bar itself to make it bigger. Also, make the logo a bit smaller by reducing container width to 25%. Okay, at this, our simple header is ready. We can publish it and view the page in a new tab to see how it looks. Placing the off canvas beside the nav bar, then selecting the container to change the direction to row. 
Now we can customize the off canvas to match it with the rest of our menu. Select your menu, let's remove the button text, then remove icon spacing. Tweak the icon color, remove the background color, and change icon size. Set the same align self-center as others with inline auto width. Now for our navbar, go to its advanced tab, scroll down to the responsive option, and turn off the menu for tablet and mobile. For the off canvas, in the same way, just hide it from desktops. Then let's drag another image to the first container. Also set the container direction to row for ease. And here, we are selecting a smaller logo for our brand. Also set its width to inline auto and center align self. Now for the bigger logo, let's go inside the responsive settings and hide it on mobile. For the smaller one, hide it on both desktop and tablet. Now open the navigator and turn off the second logo and off canvas menu. As you can see, the nav bar gets pushed by the invisible off canvas beside it. So you will need to go to its container and select center justify content. It should place the nav bar in the center again. Of course, we want the logo to rest on the left side so just select End Justify Content for its container. Now switch to tablet mode and open up the navigator. Now turn off the nav bar and turn on the off canvas menu. Now the logo looks smaller, so customize the off canvas container width to add more space for the logo. Also, you can increase the off canvas icon size a little and for the search bar container, you can use evenly space justify content to add some space between the icons there. Also, pushing the logo container width to 30% and adding some margin on the left. Now the menu is good for the tablet mode. Then let's go to the mobile mode. Once again, the formation breaks apart. Logo and icons are too big. So, now, from the navigator, let's turn off the full logo and turn on the smaller logo. Then select the logo container and let's push the content width to 20%. Then for off canvas, we can push it down to 40%. Then for the search bar and cart, 32% container content width will do. The logo and icons are still bigger to fit horizontally, so let's turn down the container width a little more for each of them. Now they finally fit inside. With this done, you can further refine their sizes to get the optimum placement for our simple header design. Now just update the changes and let's see our header in action in the new page. Header looks good in desktop mode. Bring up the inspect mode to check how it looks in tablets. As you see, the logo could be smaller to look more organized. Let's try a couple of different devices to see how the header performs. And that's how it is. Your simple header design with Elementor container for your landing page is ready. So, that's all about this video. Hope the video helped you. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow our channel to get more tips and tricks videos. See you soon.